Oh God, oh. I know where we're going now. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Just symbolic right now. After the death of the 20th Olu of Wari in December of 2021 and a tussle for the crown months after, the Wari kingdom finally has a new king. Interestingly, things started controversially for the 21st Olu of Wari after a photo of the 84-year-old former Nigerian president Olusha Gwambasonjo kneeling before him went viral on social media. For those who have been following trends, you would agree this is not the first time the new Olu would be trending. Ever since he was chosen to succeed his predecessor, he has been entangled in several controversial stories, the most notable of them being his stolen crown just days before his coronation. The crown was never recovered and like the strong personality, a new crown was constructed just for him. As you can imagine, this got people talking. To show his enemies Pepe, Olu of Wari calmed his nerves down with a brand new Bentley and Rolls Royce ahead of his coronation, stirring up mixed reactions from Nigerians who felt he could have put the money to better use for his people. Again, during his coronation on August 21 of 2021, the new king was plastered on every tabloid for reversing a five decades long curse placed by one of his forefathers. It is pertinent to recall a curse was placed on the land by both of them. It is not recorded that Olu Erejua II reversed the curse over the land. Neither is it recorded that Oba Akenzua II did the same. I, Okiame Atuashe III, the 21st Olu of Wari, the first son of Olu Atuashe II the grandson and direct descendant of Olu Erejua II, who was offended on this throne. I hereby reverse the curse placed over this. All these moves got many curious, while others asked the multi-million dollar question, who is the new controversial Olu of Wari? Well, we at African Glitz TV have done our digging, so sit right back as we educate you with all the details of the new king, his early life, wife, kids, and his much publicized coronation ceremony. Hello guys, it's t -Code here for African Glitz. The 21st Olu of Wari, Ogiame Atuashe III, formerly known as Omobatola Emiko, is from a royal family in the Wari Kingdom and is a descendant of Olu Akengbuwa. He was born a prince on April 2nd, 1984 in Wari to his father, who later became the 19th Olu of Wari, Ogiame Atuashe II, and his mother, Olori Gladys Duroike Emiko. His father passed away in September of 2015 at the age of 70 after suffering a domestic accident. He attended the NNPC primary school in Wari before proceeding to Adesoye College in Ofa, Kwara State, where he completed his secondary school education between 1995 and 2001. He would later gain admission to Case Western Reverse University, Cleveland, Ohio, in the US, where he earned a bachelor's degree in International Studies and Political Science in 2006. In 2007, he earned a master's degree in management from the same university. He returned to Nigeria in 2008, after which he served in the Public Affairs Department of the National Petroleum Management Sciences for NYSC. On completing his National Youth Service Corps one-year program, Tola Emiko began working as an officer with Shell Nigeria Closed Pension Fund Administrator before moving to Sahara Energy as a Government Relations Officer between 2010 and 2012. After which which he delved into entrepreneurship, launching his own company, Noble Nigeria Limited and Coral Curator Limited. Today, he serves as the chairman of Ocean Marine Security Limited and the director of Gulf of Guinea Limited and Vessel Link Big Limited. When he's not working, he loves to engage in sporting activities such as swimming, kayaking, basketball, soccer, and American football. Wife and children. 
The new Olu of Wari is married to Ivi Uhunoma Emiko, the daughter of late Edo Bilonia, business mogul Idahosa Okumbo. Olori Ivi is the president of RIG Africa, a religious non-governmental organization focused on awakening minds. The royal couple tied the nuptial knot in an ethereal white and traditional wedding in Wari and the UK in 2014. Today, they have three beautiful children together. Emergence as Olu Designate the Wari Kingdom, also known as the Iwere Kingdom, sitting on a large expanse of land in Delta State, was founded in 1480 by Olu Ginua, a prince of the old Benin Kingdom. He ruled as king for many years before passing away. After him, 19 other Olus were installed and ruled the kingdom. Olu or Ogiame is a title given to the king of Wari Kingdom, and he rules over Itekiwi people living in Wari Delta State. Following the death of his uncle, Olu Ikenwoli won, the 20th Olu of Wari in December 21 of 2021, the newly installed Olu Tola Emiko was chosen to succeed him as the eldest son of his father, the 19th Olu of Wari. Sadly, it was a great tussle with him and kingmakers and his other contenders in the royal family are in the seat. While a group of people supported him, another group led by the now suspended traditional prime minister of the kingdom, Ehi Emani, was totally against him. Emani filed a lawsuit challenging his succession to the throne. Onyowoli Emiko, the eldest son of the 20th Olu, who believes the throne belongs to him, also instituted legal action challenging his emergence as a new king. When this lawsuits failed to stop Tola Emiko's succession, two princes, Onyowoli and Omatsuki Emiko, broke into the secret apartment of His Royal Majesty Olu of Wari and stole the royal crown. Although the police declared them wanted, they were never able to recover the crown. Interestingly, the incident didn't deter the Wari Kingdom from crowning Tola Emiko king as they constructed a brand new crown just for him. Knowing this, Tola Emiko brought himself a customized Rolls Royce and Bentley to usher him to the throne of his forefathers. Finally, on August 21, 2021, Omoba Tola Emiko was crowned the 21st Olu of Wari, Ogiame Atuashe III. This came after he performed the three symbolic chores for the last time, which includes fetching water in a clay pot, splitting firewood, and paddling a kano. The Olu designate, who has been in seclusion since April, drove his customized Rolls Royce in Wari Club, Idianiken. On arrival at the club, he walked into a waiting regatta and proceeded to Ode Ishekiri, the people's ancestral home. Over 1,000 police operatives were deployed to ensure watertight security. After completing the other tasks, he proceeded to choose his kingship title. He was blindfolded and ushered into a room of 21 swords, with 20 bearing the name of his predecessors and one without a name. He is to use the title of the predecessor sword he picks, and if he picks the sword without a name, he is at liberty to announce a new title. Thankfully, he picked the sword bearing the same title as his father. Just after he took the oath of office, he was crowned by the Uangwe of Wari. After the successful coronation, a series of traditional fun activities took place, including colorful dance performances by cultural groups and renditions from the Wari Royal Choir, Las Equeme Orchestral. Given a speech, he addressed the kingship tussle and singled out eight chiefs that supported him. He noted the mischief some intended was used for good by God, adding that the missing crown was replaced by a more befitting one. The newly installed king also used the opportunity to reverse a course placed on the federal government and Ishekiwi kingdom by his grandfather, the former Olu Erejuwa II, who was deposed in 1964. Giving you a backstory, the late Olu Erejuwa ruled as the Olu of Wari between 1951 and 1986. However, in 1964, he was disgracefully deposed from the throne for not supporting a certain political candidate and was forced to take shelter in the Benin Kingdom with Akenzua II of Benin. He was reinstalled two years later, but he didn't sit on the throne without placing a curse on Itekiri, Urubo land, and Nigeria at large. The newly installed king reversed the course, releasing uncommon peace, progress, prosperity, and development upon the land. Thanksgiving Thanksgiving followed after his successful coronation as the 21st Olu of Wari on August 22, 2021. 
The event was attended by several governors, traditional rulers, religious leaders, representatives of the president, including the Oni of Ife, Obi of Onicha, Are Onokakanfo, former Delta State Governors James Ibori and Emmanuel Uduagan, the incumbent governor of Delta State Ifai Okowa, and former President Olushe Gwambasonjo. While Okowa congratulated him, saying it's healing time in Itekiwi, Obasanjo noted that he would not want to see another Olu of Wari coronation in his lifetime, saying he has witnessed the coronation of three monarchs for the Ishekiwi kingdom. A picture of the 84-year-old ex-president kneeling before the 37-year-old newly installed later went viral, causing an uproar on social media. However, the special assistant on media to the ex-president cleared the air, saying Obasanjo did not kneel before the monarch but before the ancient Iwere kingdom, which dates back to five centuries. He further described Obasanjo, who bears the title Jagmolu of Egba Land, as the Baba of Africa who is humble enough to pay homage to all exalted traditional seeds. What are your thoughts about the newly installed Olu of Wari? Do you agree is a controversial king judging by the various controversies he has stored since he emerged as king? Lastly, do you think the 37-year-old king will be living lavishly or get down to work to make Wari great again? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Don't forget to subscribe for more well-researched African stories and news we know you would like. Click on the bell sign to be notified every time we upload a new video so that you don't miss all the best ones. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.